Good evening, I'm John Yang. In Gaza tonight, more Palestinians are on the move as restored communications have allowed the United Nations to resume critical aid deliveries. Israel is again urging Palestinians in northern Gaza to go south. And patient, staff and displaced people are leaving Gaza's biggest hospital amid conflicting claims about what's triggering the departure. On Gaza's main road south, panic and confusion. Palestinians fled Al-Shifa Hospital in Gaza City after doctors say Israel ordered an evacuation. Al-Shifa physician Ramez Radwan. In the last moments, the Israeli authorities warned whoever was inside the hospital had to leave, except the wounded, the surgeon, and some of the medical and nursing staff. The Israeli Defense Forces deny that they ordered anyone to leave. They say the hospital asked them to help those who wanted to leave voluntarily. The Palestinian health minister said five doctors are staying to care for the remaining 120 or so patients, including some in intensive care and some premature babies. The minister called on international aid organizations to help transport the infants to Egypt. The Israeli forces are damaging all wards of the hospital, and the hospital has become a military base for the occupation forces. And the United Nations said Israeli airstrikes killed dozens of people at a UN-run school that had served as a shelter for thousands of displaced Palestinians. The IDF is urging civilians to move to southern Gaza, where there is little refuge from the war. Israeli airstrikes hit Huda Mabashir's home, where she lived with her husband, daughter, and two cats. Suddenly something fell on us, and I found stones in my mouth. I couldn't breathe or speak. In the West Bank city of Nablus, a funeral procession for victims of an Israeli airstrike in which the Palestinian Red Crescent said five people were killed. The IDF said it was targeting a terrorist hideout inside the Balada refugee camp. 2,000 miles away in Abu Dhabi, eight injured children and their families arrived from Gaza for medical treatment. The United Arab Emirates has pledged to care for 1,000 injured Palestinians. Somaya Tahir is pregnant and lost her husband in an airstrike. Her young son was badly burned. Thank God we are here. The situation was getting worse. It's difficult to explain. There's nothing like it, experiencing the difficulties of life in Gaza 